Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight. And in our last episode, when I was upgrading the Kalaharis, I noticed I had two of these. Quill Brawler. And can't get them anymore. But I do have two. So what do I do with that? And what do I do with that? I mean, you can't get them anymore, but it is one of the cooler cars in the game. If not one of the more useful, I mean, it's no longer top tier as far as racing is concerned. What were you looking for? I don't feel like letting it go. What and you know, I'm thinking, I've got $90 million in a few parking spots. Tack with it. We might not have $90 million by the end of today here, but... You got let's let's do this thing up. Thing. Front bumpers. To go radical off-roader with this. The other one I think was more of a clean build. Let's go wild on this. And since we have a spare, we'll leave the tires alone. Chassis, roll cage, nice sure. Engine, rev it up. Horn. Let's see, what, what kind of thing do we do here? Give it an air horn. I'll come. Enjoy. Lights. Headlights will leave alone. Neon kits. Neon layout. I've got well, you know, probably. You. Well, we don't know what we're doing there yet. Let's back up. Maybe we should put xenons on this because it's a purpose-built off-roader. I don't know if those other lights work. Can we see? Not yet. Wait, 67 meme 06. Yeah, close enough. Primary color. If you can think it, I can do it. What if we do something like this, like matte black or matte gray? What goes better with those wheels? Looks like a matte gray to me. Go all serious. Body work to match the driver. And then the secondary we can get wild with some kind of metallic. Sunrise orange is there. Salmon pink. I mean, almost anything works. Can't get lime green yet, but still, I'm not trying to go for lime green on this anyway. Frost white. Bright purple works. Ultra blue. Do yellow, that's a thought. Let me see something here. What about this? The crew blue. That that kind of calls to me. Matte gray, crew Don't blue. Don't she look pretty? Where does the crew emblem go? Does it have a crew emblem? Oh, there you go. It's been a while since I put the the Ukuk -uk mascot of base on there, and there's a long story that goes along with it. Why not? You we haven't put a crew emblem on stuff. anything in a while. Roof. Spotlights. Spotlights with rack. Spotlights with spare wheel. Double spare the wheels. There you go. <coughs> Something tells me that those spotlights aren't going to work. We're not slamming this one. This is going to be an off-roader. A big willowy bouncy boy. Race transmission, are we doing this? Uh, hit the button, let's go. Turbo, obviously. The cops stop you? Wheels, tires, make them bulletproof, leave them alone. Oh, you know what we can do? Tires, tire smoke, crew smoke. And we go back to lights. Neon kit. 
Right back side, it's the end color. Karu. There you go. Windows, light smoke as always. You can see where you're going. But you get a little bit of protection from the sun. Exit to ground. That's a totally different feel from the other one. Which is a, almost a completely clean build. There's so much going on, this is almost hard to see where you're going. This thing's ready for anything. It's got two spare tires, even though all the tires are bulletproof. We back up the view a little bit, maybe that'll help us drive. Got armor. It's got okay. Do the lights work? None of those lights work. They're just decorative. Oh, poopy. That's poopy. But it's an old car. It's kind of be to be expected. But all that means is that when we go to Chile, I will make it in the daytime. I may have taken this of uh, the other car, the green one, the uh, the spunk green one up Chiliad before. But I never brought this really heavy looking beefy guy up. I don't know if putting all the spare tires on affects you with weight. I did a must, right? Time of day noon. And clear. Not necessarily bright, but clear. Custom Kalaharis, all these other things. Where in the, the lineup does this thing fall? Well, obviously before all this stuff. I have a lot of cars. Cars and me, that's kind of the point. The custom brawler. I have confidence. This thing, I think, should be able to fly up Chile. I just absolutely dominate it. All right, that's one of the best transitions across the river we've had yet. That was a little bit much. That was a little bit much. You should, should still be... I don't even see the train. That's the train coming at us. That would be hilarious. I think that can happen, but I'm not really sure. I don't know if the train is one-way directional. A little bit of the crew lighting there. See, are those wheels great? Are those match properly? I think. Or is that like a, an off green kind of I can tell from that. But one color, it almost looks like it's a, a matte green. You can always tweak it. I'll take a more careful look at it later. But ooh. The cover as well. I feel like we've got plenty of power. As far as the handling characteristics on this, as I recall, it doesn't steer well. It doesn't have good... It tends to push. I mean, it doesn't want to turn. But it had, at one point, the best top speed of any of the off -road. I think it's been eclipsed now. But power shouldn't be a problem. I don't think it matches close enough. Did we just go off course completely there? As I was looking at the wheels. We have another Chiliad disaster. Looking at the wheels. Okay, we gotta stop this and then we're going back up. Okay, lock them, spin them, gun it. And we keep spinning. I went up the wrong way. That's just that's just operator error. I was looking at my wheels. Hey, look at them here. That's a slightly different shade of something. I'm not sure what. Have to experiment with that later. 
Okay, so my bad. We went up, we veered off because we were looking at every time I go look sideways, it goes, things go awry. Wasn't paying attention one way or another. But yeah, this thing, little stuff. There's no trouble whatsoever. Zoom. Yeah, zoom. Hopefully we don't fall out, fly off the mountain. It is, you know, you don't, because it's so curvy and so sports car shaped, you don't realize how beefy and big it is. It is a big vehicle. This does eat up all of the path. And then some. Imagine what Mount Chiliad would look like. Look like if erosion and wear actually were calculated in this game. So how many cars actually drove up Chiliad and then just knocked these roads down to nothing? That went a little bit going a little too quickly. Already. The brakes don't feel like they're they're super powerful going on down. Let's see. This could have. A downward, oh dear. No, no, it, it completely pushed there. You see that? I tried to turn it, it kind of went straight. And now we're, we're in bad places. Okay, well, it didn't explode. Okay, we're back where we need to be. It's all okay. Ooh, the little tree just kicked me way out of out of line. It exploded. Oh my god, we we're flying so fast into the rocks from one little tree. Wow, I did not see that coming. That's we're not going the right way. Okay, let's get to do it part two. That's twice it had difficulty just because I'm I'm giving it too much credit, I think. the brakes. Okay, I'm going to cut it a little bit sooner here. Make sure we get on the ridge. Remember, I can't coast it down, but now we're hitting it. We're just going to gun it and go. Yeet mode. And we're going to explode again, aren't we? Nope. We can't get up that over. But we might be totally stuck. We stuck it again. Oh, here we go. I thought that was a reset coming for sure. Put it up on a couple wheels, on the other wheels, roll it on down. Can't even go through here. You can just fit. Okay, the train should be coming. Hey. Thing kept to come in all on that now. Pretty quick for a four button though. Like I said, there are some. Ooh, I felt like we were gonna launch that. There are some that I think are quicker. I think there's some with higher cost speeds, but the more modern ones. Have made this obsolete as a racer for the most part. And again, it's not got the steering for it. It doesn't have it tends to push. It tends to go straight when you want it to go left or right. So that's definitely a liability. In a race, in a racing situation, you wouldn't think this would have any liabilities in a racing situation, but it does have some. Like it was balanced for the early cars, right? To figure, well, we'll give it a little bit of a a weakness turning, and then give it overpowering speed, and then let that be its own kind of balance. And it was nice back in the day. Now. An older car. Can't even buy it. 
That's why I decided to keep it. Because of the fan. Fast enough to jump. Fast enough for the FOMO. Got that fear of the center. Fast enough for the FOMO. Not my best, most focused effort on that. I think I, I, I was playing it too easy because the car was just, you know, my expectations were it was going to dominate. And it could dominate. I was paying attention. But it doesn't dominate so much that you can be goofy with it. So. I wonder if, you can, if this has an engine model. Like, is it in the back? Is it in the front? We don't even know. Let's hit the button. We gotta do vehicles. Oh. What happened? Beep, beep. Okay, so the trunk is a trunk. The front's an engine. Oh no, I don't want to get in it. I want to just, just change the viewpoint here. I want to hit the wrong button. So there you have it. Kind of a... A blase kind of thing. Is that, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. Is that? Can't tell. Is it a five cylinder or a ten cylinder? I don't even know. Dories. None. And there you have it, folks. The Quill Brawler Part 2. I don't know. That That's a real close call on the wheels. I think it's close enough for Jazz. Also, I don't have to think about it too much. So, ladies and gentlemen, on this note, this is your black. Have a great night. <laughs>